A driver meets the group of complete strangers who saved her life. And watch until the end of the show, a very famous Florida beach with magical powers. Tired of all the bad news? Sunshine in 239 is about spreading inspiring, uplifting, and positive stories happening right here in Florida. Welcome back to another episode of Sunshine in 239. I'm Gina Tomlinson. Our top story, Good Samaritans are being honored for saving an unconscious driver's life. This video shows the moments a woman suffered a medical emergency at a busy intersection in Boynton Beach. One by one, a group of complete strangers abandoned their own cars and banded together to make sure her car was stopped. One even broke a window to see if the woman was okay. The other day, the police department presented the eight Good Samaritans with awards, and the heroes got to meet Lori Rabier, the woman they saved. Among them, a post office woman, a military veteran, and just everyday people who risk their own lives for someone else's. The moment I saw this young lady running across the street behind a car yelling, she's unconscious, she's unconscious, there was no doubt in my mind that I needed to do something. Just to know that a group of people of all different nationalities and religions and nobody thought of anything like that. Nobody thought of anything like that and they all just came together to help little old lady. I, I appreciate it so, so much. You, you don't even know. Um, and my children love you. Many of us are passionate about protecting the wildlife and environment here in Florida. Look how many Jeeps showed up for a big event in Panama City Beach, raising money for wildlife protection. The fundraiser was called Topless for Turtles, and thousands came to have a fun time cruising while giving back to a worthy cause. And a baby owl is reunited with mom and dad thanks to two fourth graders on Marco Island. Amy and William, who go to Tommy Barfield Elementary School, spotted the baby chick who was stuck in a storm drain. The two students alerted teachers who, with the help of wildlife volunteers, were able to rescue the little guy. I feel kind of good now the baby owl is with her parents. It was a great thing to do. And of course I got famous. <laughs> <laughs> That little boy, what a hoot. And you can give back to the boys in blue this weekend by attending the First Responders Fest in Naples. There will be a live performance by the Ben Allen Band, food tents, activities for the kids, and amazing raffle prizes Friday night. And did you know the Florida Everblades are in the playoffs? Actually, the Eastern Conference Finals. So things are heating up at Hertz Arena lately, and if you want to cool off and watch a game, Tickets are on sale today. I posted a link where you can get discounted tickets in the comments. Plus, limos, dancing, and red carpet debuts. The Fort Myers Film Festival is already airing downtown and will go until Sunday. Now it's time for Off the Menu. Today we're at Point 57 in Cape Coral, a romantic spot with an extensive craft drink selection. I'm testing out the smoking Coconut. It's a little twist on a margarita. What we do is we take Jose Cuervo 1800 tequila, fresh pineapple juice, we do lime juice, a little bit of honey that we use in-house, and we smoke it with apple wood, so it has that nice toasted coconut aroma to it. If you're a meat lover, the Beef Tip app is definitely the go-to. We serve it on top with uh, some five cheese fondue, uh, blue cheese crumbles, bacon bits, Point 57, it's uh, more of a southern take of, a, of a cuisine, but we always like to switch things up. So uh, daily on the menu, there's a little special on the side for people that like to try new things. Our pet of the week this week, Holly Pepper Potts from Coral Springs. Don't let her hefty appearance fool you. Holly relates more to a princess than a pig. She enjoys cupcakes, and like many of us here in Florida, Holly loves sunbathing by the pool and a nice walk on the beach. Plus. She's an amateur piano player. Did you know the white sand on Siesta Key is believed to have special healing powers? Unique to any other beach, the soft powdery sand on Siesta Beach is over 99% quartz. Many in Sarasota's holistic community claim the quartz crystals can restore balance to someone's emotional state, help the immune system, and enhance spirituality. 
Some beachgoers notice a renewed sense of energy after visiting the magical beach. Drum circles and yoga sessions are often held there, attempting to utilize the sand's power. Now, if only the sand was magical enough to stay at the beach and out of my boyfriend's truck. That's all I have for you this week. You can sign up for my email list to get your weekly dose of sunshine in 239 every Thursday. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. And remember, there's always a reason to smile in Southwest Florida. You just gotta find it. Yeah, I'm just a weirdo just eating out here by myself, <laughs> filming myself eat. <laughs> what a freak, right?